Hello, hello, hello. This is Vita, and I want you to vibe with me. Uh, you saw the title of the video, Marry Down, Pay Up. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's get into the video today. All right. So we're going to be talking about Sister Wendy Williams and Mary J. Blige, the fabulous Mary J. Blige. We're also going to be talking about Miss Sherry Shepard. I think Wind. I'm sorry. I think Sherry watching the Wendy Williams show. Um, I think they are all fabulous, but they all have something in common. They all had to pay. That's right. They had to pay their husbands. These women came into the marriages with more and had to pay. Let's start with Sherry Shepard. All right. So Sherry Shepard. Now, yeah, I'm talking about you, Sherry. Um, Miss Sherry Shepard was married to a man named Lamar Sally. Now, they met in 2010. Um, and they got married in 2011. They actually met through her friend, Niecy Nash. But unfortunately, the marriage did not last. Um, they got divorced in 2014. Now, what makes this marriage so interesting is they had a baby, or I should say he had a baby, with a surrogate. Miss Sherry Shepard is not genetically connected to the baby. Um, but it looks like they may have planned it together. But she says he conned her that he conned her into uh, agreeing to a surrogate so that he could get child support uh, for the rest of his life. I don't know. It sounds a little fishy, but uh, all is well. She has taken over the Sher the Sherry Shepherd. It's taken over Wendy's show. God, Miss Wendy, I keep thinking about Wendy. And um, in the meantime, she says she is open to dating, but any new man she dates must have his own teeth, good credit, and maybe his own home. Girl, this is why you uh, you had to pay. Because your standards weren't high enough, in my opinion. The judge uh, kind of had a little bit of leniency with her. She was ordered to pay $4,100 a month. And then she will eventually have to pay $4,600 a month when the child turns 13. Miss uh, Sherry Shepard says that she paid $75,000 for all legal fees because her husband does not have a job um, and so she just wants him to go to work and stop trying to get money from her after all she says the baby is not hers sound like Michael Jackson the kid is not my son but anyway so um, I wish her well I really do let's move on to Miss Mary J Blige now everybody remembers this one this was nasty Miss Mary J. Blige really went through it with her ex, uh, Mr. Um, Kindu, because he had an affair with her protege, Miss Starshell. And so it was just really nasty. Um, let's get into this. So Kindu and Mary, they actually had a much longer relationship. They were married in 2003. They split in 2016. They were officially divorced in 2018. Now, there were rumors of Mr. Kendu's alleged cheating from the very beginning, um, not only with Mary's protege, Starshell, but with many other women. Mary also says there was much verbal abuse. She says that he complained he did not like the way she styled her hair, and he also was upset that she no longer cooked. When they split, he got $30,000 a month in temporary spousal support. Um, he then requested $65,000 because he said he was struggling due to not having a job. Um, they had a very, very unique, um, how do I say this, arrangement. She could not have any male friends. He could not have any female friends. Of course, we know that really didn't work out. They may not have had friends, but she had a protege, and so he ended up messing with her. Um, in the end, Mary had to pay him $500,000. She paid all the legal fees. She says that he spent $420,000 on travel charges that involved his affairs. And he also refused to give her back her Grammys. My God. Um, she complained he was the one who burdened her with all of the bills totaling $10 million before it was all over. Ladies, listen to this. She also had to pay him $235 in retroactive uh, spousal support from 2016 when she filed to 2018. 
Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, and so this woman, there's a special place in hell for you, Star Shell. Honey, it always comes back. I know you think that it's cool and sexy right now, but girl, you don't get away with nothing. Anyway, the judge wasn't very nice to Mary. She had to come out of pocket. She had to pay, pay, pay. Uh, Mary says that she's fine being single. She's cool. She don't care if she dates again. And her advice, women, please, after all pain she's gone through, be in charge of your money. All right. Next on the docket, we have Miss Wendy Williams, the wonderful, fabulous Wendy Williams. All right, so let's get into this. So, of course, we all know Mr. He uh, Kevin Hunter, and we all know the hell that he put Miss Wendy Williams through. Uh, when they got a divorce, Wendy was worth $40 million. Now, the problem is that Wendy never had a prenup. So, Kevin was entitled to half of all of her assets and part of all of their estates they were together for 25 years married for 21 he was as we all know her manager and they divorced in 2019 however it was finalized in 2020 um, in a 2021 article Wendy said I made him um, divorced and unemployed all in one day I'm not mad it was 25 years I don't regret it this is an interview that she did with Behind the Scenes Beauty. It's a vlog. She revealed that she pays alimony. And her answer to it was, if girls want to be equal, it's got to be all across the board, girls. You know, this Me Too moment, I'm not getting it. This is what she said. So, um, you know, that's her love. And I, I can't say much about it. I will say that Kevin cheated. He had an affair. He made a baby. And um, it, you know, we've seen what it's done to Wendy. It's just devastated her. And I made a video about this prior. I would advise you to go check it. I've actually made two. But we wish Wendy well. We want the best for her. We do. But Wendy had to come out of pocket. She married somebody who didn't have as much as uh, she did. Now, I will say, um, yeah, Kevin, he got paid. He really did. She had to come out of the pocket. But I will say at least Kevin, you know, he was her manager. He helped her. We have to give him some credit. Now, Kevin likes nice, expensive things. I mean, nice, expensive things. He went and got him some cars uh, with a Z. Uh, he went and got himself some really, really nice stuff um, with the money that Wendy paid. And I was kind of shocked at, you know, how he came out and how he made out. Um, considering how he treated Wendy, but he wasn't playing. He wasn't through. Uh, but Wendy, she had the last laugh. She did go and she had that vehicle towed and Wendy straight up said, yeah, um, that towing, that was me. Me too. Those are her words. But he seems to be happy with his new girl. Um, yeah, I, I hate to see it, but he does seem to be happy with Sharina and Wendy. Wendy's in pain. And last but not least this case is in the making so we all know this beautiful girl she is one of a set of twins this is Tia Mowry um, she is divorcing Mr. Corey Hardrick now they are trying to be civil from what I understand and I think that's great they have you know a child or some children but he's already asking show me the money he ain't playing he has decided that he, well, he's challenging um, not getting spousal support. This is something that I believe she had a prenup, but they're going to go to court because he's reaching. He does not feel that all the years they were together that he should not be getting something. So that's going to be a stay tuned. I'm going to be keeping my eyes, ears, and uh, everything just tuned to it because I am going to be reporting on that. So I was just thinking about this, you know, and I decided I need to make a video about this because, you know, we got a lot of beautiful, smart, intelligent, talented, powerful, wealthy women, and they can get who they want. They really can. They have choices. And I know that, you know, it's about love. I get that. Love is beautiful. I'm not saying it's not. But you can love a wealthy man as well as a poor one. And my question is, are you aware <laughs> when you marry down that you're going to have to pay up? Does it matter? Should it matter? 
um, yeah, when you get a divorce, you know, because I don't know, it can happen. But uh, you're going to have to come out of pocket like Wendy, like Sherry, like Mary J. I don't know. I'm done. Anyway, you guys. So uh, tell me what you think. What are your opinions? My name is Vita. Subscribe, like, and I will see you later. All right, everybody. Bye bye.